The blog I write is called In Our Grandmother's Kitchens, and I named it that for a couple of reasons. First of all, because I have a very close relationship, even though she's dead, to my grandmother, but I, I, I have a, a feeling, at any rate, that most of the cooking that I do has somehow come down to me from other people. And also, it was a way to indicate to my readers that I was talking about recipes that have sort of a history to them and have connections to people beyond just this is a great recipe but this is a recipe I got from XYZ and this is the kind of person XYZ was. No, so what I'm trying to think about is whom I'm going to pitch the story about the hundredth anniversary. Well yeah, yeah but somebody who's an appropriate market. I live with my mother who is older but very spry and very active and very fun and she is my cooking teacher. She was, although she says I'm now in charge of the kitchen. I'm not sure who's in charge of the kitchen but we work together a lot. Find me a man I can cook for I'm tired of eating alone I'm home I sing in the kitchen a lot partly because a lot of things that you do in the kitchen like doing dishes and chopping and all that uh, once you've got the hang of them you don't actually need to put your whole mind to them I don't know that there's any special song that I sing more than others I do have a couple of some cooking songs in my repertoire that I love to sing. It's not a long trip. It should smell good. Hello, sweetie. Oh, I'm still So we need to find one more chair and my mother. Almost all of our social life in Holly is based around food, so there's a lot of that going on. Uh, I have an immediate uh, neighborhood that's very close. It's very relaxed, it's informal, it's like having a giant family. And I have to entertain because I make all this food and as you can see I'm not a small woman. But I would be a much larger woman if I had to eat all the food myself, even with my mother and my dog to help. So it's, it's wonderful. It's, we just sit down at the table and we share and we talk and it's a great way to, to keep in touch with your neighbors. Mm -hmm. Oh, not bad. Oh, what beautiful composition. I'm such a genius. <laughs> it really is. It's really lovely. Well, maybe. I heard that. Sometimes I will meet someone at the general store who's just read something I wrote, either in the blog or in print, and they tell me about an experience that they had that it evoked. And that makes me feel that what I'm doing is working because what I want to talk about is the connection between food and people, historically, socially, whatever. So when, when that happens to me or when I get a comment to that effect on my blog, it makes me feel great. I think my writing has led to my having a very different place in the community. I was okay. always rooted in this community, but now I'm like the queen. I guess I shouldn't say that, but I'm, you know, I'm I get to judge pies and things like that, so I'm a celebrity locally. Naturally, I would like to be a celebrity farther afield as time goes by, um, but I think that will happen in time. I just keep working at it and keep sharing and keep writing and keep having fun, and you never know what's around the corner. <laughs>